So hi and welcome back and you've got to give a thumbs up for this outrageous orange going on here just so you know. Anyway it's kind of a strange video it's it's about the Ilford Pan 100 film and I really struggled to find a roll of it. I managed to get one. I don't know if even it's still manufactured but I've got one roll and I took it. Uh, someone commented on a video on one of my older videos just today about um, about the information I put down about the video. I did it in ID11 for seven minutes and it was exposed at 100 ISO, taken with my Canon T70 on a program mode. So that's how the photographs are taken. I don't think I did any overrides on it. I don't think I went to manual override at all on it. Anyway, that was one of the things. The other thing is I talk about another video. that I, This one's coming out first and that one's gonna come out afterwards. It's about the handheld light meters and I went out with a film and my old shin on and I'm gonna do a little video about my shin on camera I've got, which works perfectly. It's just the light meter doesn't work perfectly on it. So there's that as well. So the unusual thing um, about Pan 100 is, I think it was developed as a portrait film and uh, that's why you get the, uh, the lower contrast with it. And I really liked it. So I did some, some unusual tests with it. I did some photographs of myself and I set the T70 to the timer. I literally measured the distance from me and took the photographs. So you should be seeing those, a couple of those now. They're not brilliant, but um, they're actually quite nice portraits. I'm quite pleased with them. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, buy me a coffee link below and you'll get to see those photographs. Enjoy the rest of the video. So, hi and welcome back, and I'm just crossing over, I believe this is called Hungerford Bridge. And uh, I've got a tour on later on. But I've got some unusual film. I, well, I, I call it unusual. Uh, I found it really quite difficult to get, and it's an Ilford Plan 100. And they say from what I could find out, I, if I remember rightly, I couldn't even find anything on Ilford's website about the actual film. Uh, but from what I did find out, it was actually meant for really for portrait photography. Uh, I believe it's still manufactured. I've managed to buy one roll off Bristol cameras and uh, because it's such a bright day, the only other, the two other cameras I've got running at the moment, uh, the, the both Minolta's and my X300 and my 7000 oh, I've got 400 ISO speed filming. So I can't really, in this light, use those films and those cameras. So I've basically reloaded my T70 and uh, now I'm on the way over and I've got a few ideas for a few shots I want to take and uh, we'll see what happens along the way. Um, today is the 9th of June so it'll give you some idea of how long before it developed and uh, have I done my second rant video yet? I think I have by the time you see this one anyway. So let's get on and I'll show you some of the stuff I'm doing along the way. Yeah, no words, I'm afraid, no words. Uh, so down here is a street food market. They normally have on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'm hoping this on today, because I'm gonna get some lunch first before I do anything else. And uh, hopefully get a curry. I might get a curry, it depends on the price they are nowadays, because everything's so expensive. Oh, there, so there you go. It was in my price budget, so that's really cool. Got the coke for some run out where else, but um, yeah. Okay, so I'm on Waterloo East Railway Station, and I'm just literally waiting for my train to take me to London Bridge. I've had the curry, it was gorgeous. And I want to get a shot of the shard in the distance. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice, really bright, really clean skies clear skies today and um... okay so I finished the tour and I find myself back here at the South Bank Centre and um, I'm absolutely exhausted it's such a hot day and I've done I've been in obviously early into London and I've done the tour as well and I've got because of the type of ticket I get because I try and save money because I'm a skin flint uh, is I get a super off peak ticket which means I can't travel out of the central London until 7 p.m. Yay! So I'm actually in London now until 7 and it's now just gone half past 4. 
so I missed the last train I could get out and I've already had my curry which is from down there and uh, I've had lots of liquids but I fancy a coffee now and it's finding somewhere quiet enough to just sit and have a coffee so I'm actually probably going to head back to uh, Waterloo Station and there's a shot I've been trying to get uh, back at London Bridge so I'm probably going to get the train back there and take that shot and get that done and it's of the shard and the reason that it's kind of been a problem is because I have um, had problems the sun was reflecting directly off the shard so it was no no use at all so I'm waiting for uh, the sun to move around which is now and get the shot that I want so that's the plan um, so I don't know whether I'll take anything here if I try to take a nice shot at that side of the Royal Festival Hall all you're going to get is the um, London Eye bleached out in the background. Uh, as you can see it on here. See, it's really, really super bright. You probably can't even see the London Eye on there. So, if you imagine doing that on a black and white film, that's not going to work. So, anyway, we'll see what we can do. So, the shot I was going to take, I'm not going to do it today because I'm back in London on Sunday and on Monday, and I can take it then. I'm just too tired now. It means kind of messing around and. Um, uh, this is kind of where one of the Doctor Who locations is, it's just around the corner from here. But they use this a lot for filming, and they, I think I've said before in a previous video, they used it for the aeronauts. And they've used it, I believe, for Call the Midwife as well. So, um, these are really, really lovely buildings. The one thing I hate is the alarms boxes <laughs> on these like lovely old houses. And it kind of like, you know, this is the point where you take your film photography stuff and you're thinking do you know what <laughs> I'm going to photoshop that out uh, I've got took one at one number one at the end and that doesn't have one on so that's pretty cool uh, and I've took one down here and it looks like I'd have to leave it on because if I, if I, I am I selling out if I if I photoshop the alarm box off uh, mind you photoshop was around before really digital photography took off and people were scanning photographs and editing them so I'm not, it's not too much of an evil. What do you think? So, if you got Amazon Prime, there's a feature film called The Aeronauts. And they filmed down this road here. And the boy runs along and goes down through Windmill Walk. I've done this before, I know I have, but I wanted to do it again. And he turns left and goes down like a, an old, uh, I guess, Victorian style shops. Or, uh, you know, an alleyway as it were and uh, they were here for a week building the set and if you actually watch it it's right at the start of the film it's on amazon prime it's called aeronauts as i said and you'll see it lasts for about 15 seconds something like that and um yeah that's why films are so expensive to make so hi and welcome back and it's sunday so i finished off on friday and i didn't take any more shots and uh, now I'm in Borough Market, just uh, uh, waiting to do a tour in an hour or so. And um, the problem is when it's this hot, you just want to get in, get the tour done and get home. Uh, I'm not really thinking about using the rest of the film today or I may just grab a few shots on my way around. The other thing is that um, oh, I need to turn around. I don't even get around this way. Well, you can, but it's not where I want to go. So. Uh, I've developed another film and I was using my shin on and um, what, what, what was going on was I was testing out the two light meters I had and to see how well they worked and uh, the big joke was my guess ex exposures were better than the ones I took from the light meters so do the light meters not work, work very well or is it <laughs> <laughs> is it the camera so now I need to test the shin on because the shin on's um, light meter doesn't work properly the reason being is that uh, you need a specific voltage for them anyway it's getting a bit noisy in here I'll get back to you in a few minutes time okay so the plan was oh look the tide's going out um, the plan was to go and sit by Southwark Cathedral and this happened All I had was bell chiming, so I've had to come a bit further away where I can't hear it. 
And yeah, so the thing I was saying about the Shinon was it's light meter does work. However, the voltage it takes from the battery is higher than the, um, the ones that we have now because they used to be mercury batteries. And I think it was about 0.5 volts higher. So you put them in and they'll work for a few days or a few hours and then they'll just stop working. So you've either got to put them in when you want to take the shots and then take them out when you don't want to use the camera for a few weeks. So that's the problem. So let me just turn the camera around. And here I am in my uh, outrageous orange top. And uh, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I'm actually, <laughs> the reason, the reason I, I now have all these different uh, like bright colors and stuff like that um, is because most of my clothes are now bought in Portugal. And um, I tend to suit bright colors, or that's what my friends tell me. And everyone says they love me in bright colors. So um, it's, it, I, I mean, I managed to get this one off Amazon. That's a bit different, but um, I look forward to going out there because I can get some really nice quality clothes uh, at really reasonable prices and I, and I don't mean about like Primark stuff I mean higher quality than that and the same price so uh, that's why so I have a wardrobe out there and I have a wardrobe here got to keep this quiet guys but that's the other Doctor Who tour there from the other company my competitors well they don't compete because uh, they don't do private tours like like I do but um, yeah kind of interesting I'm actually now by where I said I was going to be, by Southern Cathedral. <clears throat> so we're back and we're now at Wednesday and I still haven't finished this Ilford film. Um, it's getting to be a bit of a pain. I've got about 10 shots to take. I, I, what I need, I think, and if you've got this far in the video, I need some themes. I need someone to say to me, go out and take photographs of or do something like this. Because that would be really, really cool. I, I still love my film photography, but I, I, it's just like when you are now paying so much money, for a film, you don't want to waste it. You want to take the shots that are going to count. Whereas back when, you know, photography was film, you didn't have that issues. Like there was, it was, you know, film was to a penny, you know. So um, anyway, so I've done a few shots yesterday evening in town, in Bedford. And then I've done a couple so far this morning. And, and I did some shots yesterday when I was in London as well. And I've probably got about 12 frames left of this film and I just don't want to waste it. I just don't want to waste it. But I'd like to get it developed today. Um, got another video coming out in probably tomorrow. I've got uh, one that's already shot. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you think.